Now the other thing is there's parts of the instrument that you hear about but you very rarely get to actually see. And one of them is called the bass bar. And that's what, that's what we're looking at right here. Now the bass bar essentially takes care of the mid-range and lower frequency vibrations and it helps distribute them around the top so that if you were to think of a, a stick floating in a puddle of water, well, if we were just thinking about a puddle of water, let's visualize that. You throw a pebble in the pond and the rings come out from the center where the, where the pebble was. Okay, so if there's a stick floating in the pond and you come along and you tap on the stick, what happens is the whole stick makes rings. Well, basically that's what's going on here. It allows the vibrations that are coming from the bridge, like this. Oh, that one doesn't fit so good. Okay, this is better. There we go. The vibrations come from the bridge through the top, and they come into the bass bar, and then they get distributed around the top. So how thick this is and how high it is, how carefully it's glued in, if it's, you know, if it doesn't fit properly, and also the taper that you see going from the thickest part to the thinnest part, that all affects the voice of the instrument, especially in the low frequencies. And when you play, basically you're trying to energize the bass bar from the outside using the bridge, you know, you're playing on, on, on the strings which are making the bridge move, and you're trying to really get this to be full of energy so it can exercise the air on the inside of the instrument. Now, the other thing that happens is sometimes those bass bars, they'll change with time, or we change what we expect in terms of sound, like very few of the Stradivari violins that are so famous for being wonderful instruments are actually in original condition. If you were to go back in time and meet with Antonio Stradivarius and get one of his instruments and try to play it the way we play today, you probably wouldn't like the way it sounds. Um, I'm not saying that's a f for sure, but I'm saying most likely because there's so many things that we've done to bring instruments up to what we consider modern standards that what's there for us to work with in terms of sound wouldn't be what we expect. It's not that it would be bad, it just wouldn't be what you expect. So often people will take old instruments and they'll take them apart, like this one's apart right now. I don't have to change the bass bar on this one because this is very well done. But many times there are bass bars that are terrible and they need to be replaced.